Every president I have served with, including the Republicans, has had a moral center about what it was to be an American, about what we're supposed to do, about what basic fundamental rights are. Donald Trump's uh, um, is painfully uninformed. No, 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 I, this is not for cheering. This, I, this, I want to make an important point. And uh, his policies are, uh, are, uh, are not very helpful for the country. But what bothers me about this race, and I know I'm sort of a one-man broken record on this, but what bothers me about this race is how, how palpable his cynicism is about the American people. You know, he acknowledged that he didn't pay taxes because he said it's uh, — um, he said because he's smart. Makes him smart. Tell that to the janitor in here okay. who's paying taxes. Tell him my dad who, when he was alive, busted his neck working 60 hours a week, paid all his taxes. Tell that your mothers and fathers are breaking their neck to send you here who are paying their taxes. No, I really mean it. It angers me. This is a guy who said and wants to be president that it was good business for him to see the housing market fail. What in the hell is he talking about? He does not, he does not have the basic fundamental sensibilities and values that almost every American politician, left, right, and center, I know, have. They disagree on how to make things better for people, but they don't take pleasure from you're fired. They don't take pleasure from knowing that they will benefit. That's what Wall Street did. But when you're sitting on top of Trump Tower in a semi-golden palace, not, not a joke, what do you care about the people that I grew up with in Claymont on the Pennsylvania border or in South Philly or in the West Side? What do you think? Do you think they think that you should brag about profiting off their misery? I mean, I don't know why more people aren't talking about this. I know I'm called middle class Joe, and in Washington, that's not meant as a compliment, means I'm not sophisticated. But let me tell you who built this damn country. The middle class built this country. That's why we're the most powerful nation in the world, because we have a middle class. It's not merely a matter of fairness. It's the reason why we have social stability, political stability, because there's always that notion that used to exist. If I work like hell, if I contribute to the profitability of the outfit I work with, I get to share in the benefits. That was a basic bargain Democrats and Republicans adhered to, but not this guy Trump. If you had the lawyers he has, if you were able to game the system like he does, he brags about gaming the system and bankruptcy, leaving hardworking people holding the bag. How many people has he stiffed? He didn't say, I didn't stiff anybody. He said, maybe they didn't do what I wanted. Five times bankruptcy. Your mom and dad declare bankruptcy. Try to get a loan in the next five, 10, 15 years. Try to get the money to get you to help you get to college. This is, that's the rigged system. He is part of the rigged system.